Hi everyone, our subject today is abnormal vaginal bleeding in prepubertal girls. Basics. Prepubertal vaginal bleeding is abnormal in most circumstances and warrant investigation of the possible underlying pathology. Physiologic vaginal bleeding in newborn females and expected menarche in normal girls subsequent to telarche are exception. History. History of trauma, accidental trauma is common and is usually blunt, affecting external structures only. However, hymenal or vaginal injuries in the absence of a plausible penetrating mechanism should raise concern for abuse. Discharge. A mucopurulent or purulent discharge suggests the presence of a specific bacterial pathogen. Maladders discharge suggests the presence of a foreign body. Antecedent respiratory or diarrheal illness may precede infection with a specific respiratory or enteric pathogen. Foreign body. Accumulated toilet paper is the most common type of prepubertal intravaginal foreign bodies. Prior history of uh, foreign bodies in the vagina or other orifice raises the possibility even if none is uh, reported with the current episode of bleeding. Parental observation of secondary sexual characters, body odor, mood changes, other site of bleeding, bruising, or petechiae, exogenous hormonal exposure such as the with topical estrogen prescribed for labial adhesion and adverent ingestion of hormone, containing medication like contraceptive pills and consumption of hormones, supplemented food products, Physical examination, general examination screen for extra genital trauma, pubic or axillary hair, breast development, abdominal and or bimanual palpation to evaluate for presence of ovarian masses. Anogenital exam in the supine of frog leg and knee chest position with the attention to site of trauma, site of bleeding, presence of discharge, leukocoria, abnormal masses, foreign bodies, mucosal estrogenization, relatively enlarged clitoris and thickened labial minora, leukocoria, thickened redundant hymenal folds. Non-vaginal source of bleeding, vulvar, urethral, and anal rectal exam, though possible and necessary if other uh, portion of the exam yield the cause of bleeding, Anal inspection and digital rectal exam may reveal fissures, polyps, and foreign bodies. Stigmata of syndrome or endocrinopathy, macune albright syndrome, polystotic fibrous dysplasia, bony lesion, limb deformity, caffeolate spot with irregular borders, precocious puberty, and other endocrinopathies, Hypothyroidism, growth failure, coarse facial features, constipation, cold intolerance. How to approach to patient with the abnormal vaginal bleeding after performing history and physical examination. If it is pubertal, this is will be discussed in another lecture. If it is prepubertal, if it is in the newborn period, this is uh, withdrawal bleeding. If it is uh, below age of nine year, site of bleeding. If it is vulvovaginal, differential diagnosis may include foreign body, infection, vulvovaginitis, trauma, urethral prolapse, lichen sclerosis, neoplasm. If it is uterine, exposure to exogenous estrogen. If it is yes, this is exogenous estrogen exposure. If it is no, is there secondary sexual characteristic present? If it is yes, this is precocious puberty. If it is, uh, there is cyclic menses with no secondary sexual characteristics, this is precocious menarche. Withdrawal bleeding. In the newborn, a small amount of endometrial bleeding may occur secondary to withdrawal from relatively high fetal estrogen level in up to 10% of normal female newborn. Vulvovaginal cause. In prepubertal age girls without cyclic bleeding and with no sign of puberty, 
a vulvovaginal source is most common. Vaginal bleeding is more predictive of a foreign body than a vaginal discharge. The possibility of sexual abuse must be considered. The foreign object may be visualized in the nichest position, but if not, examination using anesthesia may be required. Vulvovaginal trauma is usually caused by stradal injuries and less commonly by vaginal penetration and tearing from forced leg abduction, always consider the possibility of sexual abuse. If a mass is visualized, consider urethral prolapse, which appears as red, friable, often necrotic tissue at the urethra. If in doubt remain, passage of a small urinary catheter through the central orifice into the bladder is diagnostic. Intravaginal foreign bodies cause 18% of prepubertal bleeding and up to 50% of bleeding without discharge. Vaginal bleeding is present with 93% of previously unsuspected prepubertal vaginal foreign bodies. Findings concerning for abuse include age of patient 7 to 13 years, perianal, vaginal, and hymenal injuries without a plausible accidental penetrating mechanism, and associated extragenital trauma. Infection. Infectious vulvovaginitis usually appear as discharge, but bleeding may be present. Most common organisms obtained on culture are group A streptococci, shigille, and mixed organisms. Uh, pinworm infestation cause excoriation, pruritus, or local discomfort. The presence of gonococci, chlamydia, or trichomonas should prompt evaluation for sexual abuse. Lichen sclerosis. Lichen sclerosis, it atrophicus, is most common in postmenopausal women, but uh, 5 to 15 percent of cases occur in prepubertal girls occasionally rising concern for sexual abuse. Symptoms include pruritus, pain, dysuria, and pain with defecation. The individual lesions are ivory papules that coalesce to form a characteristic figure 8 of whitened par parchment-like skin around the vulva and anus. Hemorrhagic lesion and bleeding can occur with the anatomical changes and scarring in more advanced cases. Neoplasm. Neoplasm include hemangioma, polyps, and sarcoma botryoides, a grape-like mass protruding from the vagina. Malignancies are uncommon, adenocarcinoma and rhabdomyosarcoma. Exogenous exposure to estrogen may occur from ingestion of birth control pills, food, and a beauty uh, product, it has been hypothesized, hypothesized that plastics may contain estrogen-like compounds. Precocious menarche is a rare form of incomplete precocious puberty with cyclic menstruation but no other secondary sexual characteristic. There may be a slight increase in serum estrogen level, gonadotropin level, or prepubertal. Peers and pitfalls. A calm, unhurried approach with the parent support with the facilitate the genital exam in apprehensive girls. Neither the appearance or behavior of family members nor a normal exam can exclude the possibility of inflicted genital injury. Recognition of lichen sclerosis atrophicus prevent unnecessary evaluation for sexual abuse. Urethral prolapse may be overlooked or mistaken for more serious condition without a careful genital inspection. Though accidental or blunt injury is common, hymenal or vaginal injury in the absence of plausible explanation should raise concern for abuse. Thank you for your listening.